is shown by the elongated red dot in the line of smaller red dots. These dikes are formed when molten rock is forced to the surface and may be quartz, ironstone or granite or a mixture of all three. The arrow symbol indicates an anticline or the peak of an ancient upward fold. The arrow shows that this anticline is dipping northwards. Notice Amelia Gully with a few old miners' diggings chasing gold that seems to have come from this anticline. Then there's the Prince of Wales mine number 94 which followed an ironstone dike which contained gold. Originally the dike shed gold towards Amelia and ironstone gullies and most of the gold in those gullies and on those slopes show traces of ironstone. A couple areas in the map coloured yellow show high level gravel with rocks sized from pebbles to boulders, all thoroughly rounded and water-worn. These are what remains of an ancient riverbed, which has been broken up into segments by subsequent earth movements. They quite often show a high gold content, and even can be found on the tops of present-day hills. numbered mines in the centre of the Pearl Croydon anticline. This would have shed gold almost 360 degrees around it. Then the many gullies formed when the ground was upthrust and the shed gold slowly worked its way down. The close spaced dots in the gully show the old diggings, but not all the gold would have made it to the gully. Some would still remain on the slopes, caught in pockets, and these areas are well worth 